Thank you so much, team. This is a very important conversation to have, particularly during this very important day with matric results being released this morning. To all matriculants out there, whatever the outcome, you are destined for success. Speaking of success, after the success of her first book haul, Bowl Food for Balance, Melissa Dalport is back in our kitchen with her newly released cookbook that combines her love for food and healthy living. Heal, begin with food. This morning, she's here to share a recipe she created out of wanting the comfort of the classic mac and cheese and cheesy cauliflower bakes from her childhood. The only difference is that this one comes with a vegan, is it bechamel? Bechamel. Bechamel. It's vegan bechamel. bechamel. A little bit of French, darling. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Actually, the accent is very vital. Vegan bechamel that packs all the flavor with none of the glute. Oh, Melissa, it's such a yeah. pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I mean, it's been absolutely a treat cooking mm. with you guys this morning. Please take us through the, 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 the first set now, the, the ingredients we have on the counter. Yeah, what I love about this recipe is that it's actually part one, part two, part three done. Okay. Get it in the oven. It's so divine. Mm. We've got beautiful cauliflower florets that we're going to pop into our roasting tray. Then we're going to add in some beautiful cherry tomatoes, mm. nice and plump and makes me think of summer. Yes. We've got our gorgeous chickpeas, high in protein, high in fiber. Mm. High in vitamin K, an absolute uh, uh, must to include. Did you prepare these yourself or did you buy them in a can? Look, I think that we do the best that we can when mm -hmm. it comes to our health journey and we've got to meet ourselves where we're at. I mm. would rather us having a tinned chickpea than an unhealthy fast food takeaway. Mm. But in an ideal world, we get our chickpeas, we soak them, we yes. cook them for two hours. We have all the time in the world with a you know, beautiful glass of wine. But sometimes we are rushed. Yeah. So tinned chickpeas do work, give them a rinse. Uh, out of their brine, dry them off, and then cook with them. Yes. Awesome. Beautiful. So we're going to add a little bit of coconut oil. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned earlier, coconut oil is just much better to uh, roast with and cook with because it's got a higher smoke point. Okay. So it doesn't become rancid like olive oil if it gets overheated. Mm. Um, Wait, just on that point, what's ran ranc rancid? Rancid. So it goes off. So olive oil, if you cook with it, you actually destroy the health properties mm. of it because it's a healthy fat. Yeah. So essentially what we really want to focus on with our olive oils, cold press, extra virgin mm. and raw over a salad or at the end of the meal because that's the healthy fat that the body needs. I see. So this is what you would pop into the oven and get Already roasted. Already standing. I mean, it's so quick and easy. Mm. Give it a good toss, some season with some salt and pepper. Over here we have our crumbs. We've got some beautiful chili flakes for a little bit of spice, some garlic, you know, because that's just the yumminess and extra you flavor. We've got some cumin and then we've got some paprika and a little bit of cayenne pepper mm. just for that extra hits of spice. So I'm gonna task you to just toss that up and Not mix that a up. problem. What I love about this recipe so far, it just infuses different flavors, different spices, and it's all natural ingredients. Exactly, and those spices are so healing, so mm. good for the digestive system. Cayenne pepper fires up the digestive system. Mm. If we include turmeric, it's anti-inflammatory. So it just really packs a punch for our health. In here, I've got some coconut oil. This is our bechamel sauce, and this is such a great one, because if you master this, mm. you can put it on Anything. anything. So initially what we do is I use spelt flour mm -hmm. rather than white commercialized bleached flour because essentially white flour is bleached. So you're eating bleach. Really. You see what happens now whenever scary. we go to shops, we just buy whatever is there in front of us without really knowing the properties of the of the products that we're purchasing. Exactly, and that's why I really do encourage everybody out there to read your labels. Mm. Stop worrying about the nutritional square on how many calories yeah. you're eating because the calories aren't the problem, the chemicals are. Mm. And when you read ingredients, more often than not, you'll see what nasties are hiding in our food. And those are the nasties that are making us sick. Mm. So I use spelt flour. It's made from an ancient grain. And it's absolutely high in protein and delicious. You cook it off with your... Um, equal ratio to coconut oil mm -hmm. just to get rid of that floury taste at the end you want to make sure that that's cooked out everything is low temperature that's it and then i might need you to help me whisk okay or pour you want <laughs> to be the pourer you be I'll the pourer pour. i'll be the whisker the we're going to make a team here so this is what your bechamel will look like and as you you can pour for me very slowly there you go keep pouring keep pouring as you do that your bechamel sauce and then you can stop for a second there you go. Am yeah. I done? Now give it a second. We've just got to let it thicken. And as you keep whisking, your bechamel sauce is going to thicken. And mm. really what you want to look for is a thick, creamy, lush sauce. Then with this one, what makes it so, such a big kick and so delicious yeah. is we add uh, nutritional flakes. I love that. Nutritional flakes is something you can buy at your local health store. Mm. It tastes like cheese. It's like the healthy version of 
you know, like a cheese sprinkle. Mm. I was going to mention a brand, but we won't do that. <laughs> but this is a healthy version, and if you add it in there, it makes this beautiful creamy yeah. cheese sauce that you can add onto dishes. I love it so much. Okay, listen, this is the final product. If you missed any steps, make sure to head on over to our website, expressoshow.com. Melissa Delport is still in the building. Make sure also to get yourself the stunning book, Heal, Begin With Food. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. It's been beautiful. a treat.